In this segment, you'll be treated to an insider's look at the craftsmanship, care, and attention to quality that go into building Corvette at its Bowling Green, Kentucky assembly plant. More than 3,500 components from the top suppliers worldwide converge in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where dedicated employees ply their trades. In a building that covers one million square feet and contains more than seven miles of conveyors. These are the elements that work together to produce the 1992 Corvette, the world's premier sports car. The pride of Chevrolet comes together on the line of the Corvette assembly plant in Bowling Green, the only plant in the world charged with producing America's dream car. If you think about the Corvette as the ultimate expression of automotive art, you'll watch the employees, each and every one takes a great deal of pride in the work that they do. They inspect their own work as well as the work of other people. They do that as part of the process to ensure that each and every Corvette that leaves this plant is as perfect as it can possibly be. The building of Corvette is a deliberate, almost painstaking process. Each vehicle takes more than five days to build, and quality is foremost at every point along the assembly line. That quality begins with Corvette's rigid uniframe construction. 53 robotic welders produce its strong skeleton, applying more than 1,200 spot welds in a matter of minutes. Another 120 inches of precision welds are carefully done by hand. frame acts as a steel cage which provides structural integrity and contributes greatly to the vehicle's overall safety. The result is one of the world's most structurally sound sports cars. Belying the strength of the steel uniframe is another of Corvette's trademarks, its sleek fiberglass body. Before the fiberglass panels are installed, they're wiped with a special solvent that unmasks any hidden defects on the surface. The panels are then attached to the uniframe with adhesives applied by hand. The actual bonding is done by machine to ensure precise adhesion. Ten major panels are joined to the uniframe, including rocker panels, the deck lid and halo, and the hood. Many of Corvette's body panels are lightweight fiberglass, allowing the coupe to maintain its trim curb weight of approximately 3,200 pounds. To ensure that the body panel assembly meets rigid design specifications, point check inspections are conducted regularly throughout the day. During these inspections, technicians use highly specialized instruments, checking body panels to guarantee that fit and alignment are exact on three different planes. Once the body is assembled and inspected for quality, the painting process begins. First, the body is prepared to provide a smooth surface. The painting is done with a combination of robotic and hand spraying, and each vehicle receives six coats of finish, two coats of primer, two coats of enamel base coat or color coat, and two coats of clear coat. The entire process takes approximately 14 hours per vehicle and culminates in a detailed inspection of every car. While its lustrous and durable body is assembled, the core of Corvette performance is simultaneously coming together. The car's chassis, drivetrain, and suspension are assembled at various points along the line. The independent rear suspension features a five-link design, a glass epoxy monoleaf spring, limited slip differential, and many aluminum components. 
Like the rear suspension, the front suspension is also independent, utilizes many lightweight aluminum components and a monoleaf spring. It also features a tubular steel stabilizer bar and Bilstein shock absorbers. Once the front and rear sub-assemblies are complete, they're each joined to the engine and then the drive shaft. Performance has always been a Corvette benchmark, and that heritage is carried on in 1992. Coupes and convertibles are powered by a new 300 horsepower LT1 engine, built specifically for Chevrolet by GM Powertrain in Flint, Michigan. At the heart of the ZR1 beats a truly dominant engine, the LT5. Designed by General Motors in conjunction with Lotus, and built by Mercury Marine in Stillwater, Oklahoma, the LT5 launches ZR1 down the road with an incredible 375 horsepower. With that kind of power, it's no wonder Corvette's interior resembles the cockpit of a fighter jet. The plant is also installing a quiet car package this model year. Corvette's slick body and sturdy chassis are then married, quite literally in fact, to form a nearly complete vehicle. At the marriage area, the body slowly drops down from above to be mated with a chassis. The two are joined at 14 separate contact points to assure a perfect match. Wheels and tires are also married, so to speak, at another location within the plant. Corvette's Goodyear GSC asymmetrical tires are teamed with directional 17-inch aluminum wheels and then perfectly mounted and balanced. First, there's the uniformity machine, which simulates the tire on the road, checking for tire integrity to avoid future and unwanted vibrations. The Bowling Green plant is unique in that it checks 100% of its tires for uniformity. Next is the dynamic balance, which determines exactly how much weight should be added to the inner and outer flanges of the wheel and precisely where the weight should be placed. And finally, the static balance, where the weights are double-checked to within one quarter ounce of accuracy. Once the wheels are ideally balanced, they're ready to be mounted on the vehicles. At the startup area, gasoline is added to the tank, the fuel pump is turned on, the system is primed, and each Corvette is fired up for the first time. Now the car is ready to roll. The end of the assembly line marks the first time Corvette's tires touch the ground. Vehicles are driven off the line and over a series of speed bumps to help settle the front and rear suspensions. All four wheels are precisely aligned, contributing to Corvette's responsive handling. Then, because Corvette owners demand perfection, the vehicles undergo an extensive battery of quality checks and performance tests. There's the sonic test that checks critical seals to see if sound escapes from the passenger compartment. The water test, which douses the car from several angles to check for possible leaks. And for many of the vehicles, the dynamometer, to ensure engines are functioning correctly and to measure their emission levels. All this is done to provide Corvette buyers with an ownership experience unmatched by lesser vehicles. Corvette Access Center, Jerry. 
Part of that experience includes customer assistance at the factory. Enter the Corvette Action Center. There's a feature that allows you to operate your power windows or your radio for up to 15 minutes after the... Located in the plant, the Action Center answers approximately 150 product-related questions per day. Of course, your local Chevrolet dealer should always be your first source of expertise. However, if your dealer is unable to answer your question, you can reach the Corvette Action Center at area code 502-745-8101 or 1-800-457-VETT. They're open for business Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. until 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Structural integrity. Remarkable power. Ultra-high quality. Seductively attractive. The world's most distinguished sports car. Built for the world's most discerning buyers.